Hello, I'm Mia Gams from Mia Gams. What you do you expect is another video from Mia Gams. So first of all, we will start again with another example on structural mechanics. So what we are doing now here is how to solve a continuous beam. This is just a tricky question. How to solve a continuous beam? I think it's a a regular question for uh, engineering students of structural mechanics 1, 2 or ed applied mechanics department. So uh, first of all we started with Claponian theorem. What is this theorem? Many of the students ask me what is Claponian so do this exist in solving the continuous beam or do they not? So first of all we will read the Claponian theorem. So what is Claponian theorem here? Claponian theorem is uh, it states if a beam has n supports, which is an n number of supports, and n supports are fixed, then the same number of equations are required to determine the support moments, which may be obtained from the consecutive pairs of spans, that is, ABBC, BCCD, or CDE, and so on. So it states that Claponian theorem is has n supports, and this n supports are n supports are fixed, which is the fixed beam are recurated like this. So fixed beams are then after a one step down, we consider this as a simply supported beam with UDL on it. Of 12 kN if you can't read this forget me uh, point load of 36 kN is also on center so it's a center point load 36 kN and UDL of 12 kN among two spans here what you do is divide the two spans in different lengths this is UDL you have to divide this time and this is the continuous beam so it's more than two supports or yes more than two supports so divide this and this and obtain like this so as i stated earlier you have to divide the two parts you have divided the two parts this is the different part and this is a different part now single handedly solve this a moment so for this you have to calculate the moment m is equal to w l square by 8 because it's a udl and for this for cent central point load m is equal to w l by 4 now we can see that m is equal to w l squared by 8 because it's a udl take w as 12 kilo and 12 l is equal to 6 divided by 8 this is the formula i can change this so take it as the as universal formula 50 kilo newton per meter into meter and this also became 54 kilo newton into meter so now here we go as per claparin's theorem is the Universal formula from Clapton's theorem MA is the moment A into L1. L1 is the distance between this first beam and the second beam. Actually, it's not first, second, it's a simple continuous beam, but we have divided so 1 and 2. So MA into L1, 2 into MB into L1 plus L2 into MC into L2. So this is the formula of Clapton's theorem. This is a universal formula. We can take as a plus b square is equal to a square plus two ab upon plus ab b square. So this type of formula you can learn by heart. It is equal to now as a continuous continuous beam. So continuous formula is equal to minus six point. It's a point. So multiplication minus six into a one into x one upon l one minus 6 into a2 into x2 upon l2 so this is the formula you have to get it through it so as from bm bending moment diagram you have to draw a semi circle type shape and a triangle shape ask why why because this first beam is uni formally distributed load this is UDL going over so we have to draw semicircle this is the rule of structural mechanics there is 
sorry for the inconvenience so there is a rule of structure mechanics as UDL stands for semicircular and simply smooth stands for triangular and the moment between these two the C the B moment is taken as this is a triangle hole so let's not forget the time and waste our time and move on towards the next step so now I just have calculated the minus 6 this formula is putting the values in it so first of all a1 a, what is a1 and a2 a1 is a small a1 and small a2 this is this is the area of this shapes what is the area of the shape as we have calculated the m the m is equal to 54 what is 54 the m we have just find it upwards m is equal to 54 is the height so minus 6 into 2 is to 3 is the area 2 into divide by 3 into 6 the length and by 54 the height of the diagram into 3 what is x1 is the half the distance what is the distance 6 is a half 3 understand and divide by 6 so we get minus 6 48 this answer will always come in minus if it doesn't uh, you are wrong supposedly so the second answer we also calculated is minus 486 so now sports moment are zero remember the first thing you ever asked in a fish beam support or a simply supported beam support moments which is the supported moments around the last moments are zero always is equal to m a is equal to zero and so is m c is equal to zero now substitute the values between the view got minus 648 minus 486 which has no unit because it is a formula we have calculated so from from this formula we have supported the value m a is equal to zero so is mc is equal to zero because the support moments are zero so m a is equal to zero so is mc is equal to zero now 2 mb into l1 plus l2 the the distance between the two beam l1 plus l2 is equal to 12 because it's a 6 and 6 plus is equal to 12 12 to the 24 and this is the moment we got the values so we now add it stated earlier 2 mb 2 into 12 is equal to 24 mb and the sum of this value is equal to minus 1134 so mb we got by dividing 24 into 1134 we got minus 47.25 kN per meter now we will substitute that this value into the diagram bm diagram body moment so as we stated this here we go minus 470 47.25 is in minus so this, this portion is in minus this is in plus and this is in plus a b and c are this pm diagram of a continuous beam so sometimes very few people ask me what about the continuous diagram bm diagram so it's difficult or not it's so easy you can see it i've solved it in just a uh, five minute or six minutes or so so this is this is good for you for all engineers out there, this is an amazing trick for finding the continuous beam.